How do we go from this to this? So our character can show up in front of an object. Let's use three from our assets and let's put it into assets folder, okay? And now let's create a new scene and let's call it, for example, three. Let's save it. Let's save it into, into the scenes tree. And we need to create animated sprite 2D. Why animated sprite 2D? Because this tree is really something that is having an animation. So let's make it idle automatic 10 FPS because it is going to be pretty fast. And let's choose our tree. Now we need to set up our frames. We are not going to choose this too because they are for chopping. This is just for the movement because of wind. And as you can see, our tree is moving. So we've got our tree. And when we go to our game and we attach the tree scene, you will notice that we've got something like this. And now it doesn't matter where the tree is. Our player is always behind. So normally we could just change the Z index or for example, the order in which we place things, right? But the problem is that we want to change the drawing order based on the position of our player or tree. So we need to somehow focus only on vertical sorting, right? Only on vertical one, because we want to sort them by vertical position. And you can set vertical position on each object in the scene manager by using something what is called offset. So when we have got, for example, three, you have got here this plus, okay? And this thing is called offset and you can access it using this offset property. You can change in it X position of that plus and Y position and Y position is really this Y axis, okay? And when you change it to, for example, 30 pixels, we move the plus sign 30 pixels, right? And this changes the order in which nodes are drawn in vertical sorting. How it works, I will explain you soon. Notice that we have got a plus sign here for the player too. And this is an offset for player character. Three has got now that plus a bit higher, right? And normally, if the plus sign is below, the player should be shown if the offset of the player is below the offset of three, right? However, if we move him upwards, so that plus sign is now below the offset of the player, now the tree should be in front of the player. But in order to make the offsets sorting work, we need to enable it in the root of the things that we want to sorting work on. So in our case, we want to affect player and tree, right? Both these nodes. And to do that, we need to select game and then hit ordering and check Y sort enable because we want to what? Enable sorting by white axis. Oh, so by this Y thing that we set here, right? And now notice what happens. As you can see, player is like in front of three. As you can see, plus when it's above, instantly disappears. So this is the way to use it. But hey, we need to, you know, play around it because I think the player should like hmm, be here and he should be invisible still, right? So we need to move the offset where? Down. And uh, if you want to move the offset down, uh, we need to uh, what type here, for example, 30, uh, I mean, minus 30, because if you are moving down, you need to type here minus, right? Well, maybe 50. No, oh, okay. That's, that should be enough, I think. And now notice that what happens, Bam! he disappeared, right? So when he's like coming from this place, as you can see, uh, okay, and he appears when he is moving like in front of it. So this is like 
you need to play with it, right? We need to also attach here a collision. So let's attach collision. We have got two exclamation marks here because three is not uh, the body type node. So we can change it, change the type, and let's make it static body because our tree is not moving. We don't want to move it. It's a static body. And let's put here a circle like this at the bottom so the player can't move past it, right? And now when we play it, as you can see, our player can easily go behind, right? But when he go, 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 he's like in front of it, he, he can like uh, show, show up. But you have probably also noticed that collision polygon is not working good in places like that. So we're gonna change the collision shape also here to the circle because it is totally enough for the collision to be small like this, okay? For the player. Otherwise, we had a problem because, well, we couldn't be like totally in front of the tree, right? Now we can stand in front of the tree 